Hello everyone, welcome back to this part 2 uh, of OmniAuth Authentication and we're gonna start off right where we left. So, let's go back here to the old app. Um, let me go to the application.html.erp. So, um, let's do some styling. Uh, the first thing we'll need to do is to copy these three links for Bootstrap and then as you can see here I only have uh, a navbar uh, and the flash message and the, and the welcome. So, this is the navbar. Uh, it's very simple. I'm going to explain um, each each uh, element. But first, let's uh, copy. I'm doing I'm doing the same way as we did from the uh, the other files. So I'm going to paste it here below the body tag and above the yield. Okay, this paste. So um, let me just go to Bootstrap as well. And um, so that you can see where where to get the links from, so it's done the, the on the first page. You just copy those three links and paste it here, like this, on the head section. Okay, now this is a simple navbar. Um, as you can see, uh, um, it's the Bootstrap navbar that you are used to see. Um, the first thing you have to is the link to the root path. It's an H1, is that uh, Omni, and then the uh, a URL. And each LI, um, as you can see here, uh, is a button for uh, for uh, Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. You have three buttons here. Um, you see here the path, the auth slash Facebook. This was the uh, provider, the dynamic route that I was talking about earlier. So you see that provider there? That's the dynamic route. And uh, when you press the link there, uh, that it chooses which provider. So I have a here a very simple if statement. So if the current user uh, is not logged in, then give me the current user dot name and the image. Uh, and this auth image. If if I actually start the server now, you will get an error because this global variable here uh, at auth is not set. But basically, this is the path for your profile picture. It's info and image. Then I have some uh, class here, the image circle, which is from Bootstrap. So if the user is not logged in, then give me these three links there, the, the three buttons there, the Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub. Mm, okay, uh, you have the same thing. Um, first of all, let me, um, what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is to actually um, create this uh, variable here, this global variable, the, um, the uh, at auth. Uh, the actual the path for your um, profile picture. So uh, let's go to the uh, controller, the home controller, since we are using it on the on the index page. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is another method called set auth. Basically, this method is going to set the global variable here. So let's make it private. Okay. Uh, and now let's uh, initialize. So at auth equals to session, a global se uh, ver a session variable, uh, omni auth. So actually, this is getting that session that where we set on the create method here on the sessions controller. We are setting the the session uh, variable omni auth. Then if exists, if the session exists, then that auth is going to be uh, assigned to. Uh, of course, as I said, only if the um, if the session uh, exists. If it doesn't, that uh, that global variable will be uh, nil. So uh, let's add here the before action. So before anything, let me just type before action and um, set auth. Okay. So before anything, uh, when this controller starts before any method is run, this set auth is going to be run first. So that's, that's what uh, uh, before action means. Okay, so now we have this set up. It will not cause any error. Uh, what we actually do not have, um, it's the, uh, the images. So this uh, Facebook.png, uh, Twitter and GitHub, uh, we do not have these images. So Let's going to um, to place them on the assets folder. So let me just grab my my pictures. Where do I have my pictures? So I have on the the first that Omni. This is the first app images. 
let me just you can find these images uh, wherever you like I, I just found them on, on Google search uh, basic Google search um, let's go to our app directory on the assets images and place there okay so this path here is going to uh, is actually is fetch, fetching the, uh, the 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 images that are on the assets okay so I think we should um, we are pretty pretty okay to um, to just start okay just one thing we need is this flash alert um, since we have it here uh, just to notify the user if you are signed in or sign out so uh, I'm gonna uh, copy this and actually this welcome me this little welcome message uh, below um, basically if you are logged in is gonna uh, put the, uh, the your name and the provider and uh, the image as well well not the image just the logo image from Omnioth yeah the, um, exactly this is just going to give the the saying that which provider are you logged in and, and um, printing your name so let me go copy this flash and the welcome message let's go to our uh, app okay and now below the nav bar okay let's paste it as you can see it's very very simple nothing that you have not uh, yet seen uh, let me just do a final check but I think everything is in place so I think we should um, I think we can start and test uh, our app so let's um, go to the directory so cd omni and rails s okay let's go to the browser let's refresh okay as you see the three links uh, the three buttons there uh, and this sign in actually this sign in shouldn't be there I don't know what this sign in is doing here but um, we, m we should remove it uh, but basically th there's no problem let's just test this and we change it later so um, if I press github here you see immediately um, sign me in that's actually because I'm logged in on the provider so uh, actually let me log out of my different providers so Facebook github and the Twitter as well so that we can just uh, properly test the app so let's refresh I don't know what this sign in actually is doing there. I mean, ah, uh, okay. So that was an error. That was just a, a cache bug. There was no, there was no sign in as I would thought. So let's. Um, you can see that's the rule, the root URL, and uh, let's just press the Facebook. Let's see where it leads me. So it re it's working. So it's redirect me back to the the sign up page from Facebook. I can put my credentials here. Log in. And bow. You see, I'm logged in. This is my profile picture. Welcome, Pedro Fernandes de Silva, which is my name. Um, the notice here, the sign in, and logged in with Facebook. Okay, so perfectly working. Let's try with Twitter. Just press the button. Okay, it's working. It's redirect me, <laughs> and it already signed me in. You see, uh, welcome, Pedro. Logged in with Twitter. Um, that's my profile picture this is my profile picture so let me sign out and let's try again with uh, uh, github just the last one that we need to test let me put sign in and you see all the three are working properly it's sign in welcome Pedro from the Silva logged in with github and this is my profile picture so you see uh, I think this is um, very very useful and, and actually easy to, to implement as you see this is a, a, just a very short video um, the cool thing about Omnioth is I mentioned it again because a lot of users uh, nowadays have a lot of different uh, websites and different web accounts so if you provide uh, um, your user the ability to log in with the social network I mean uh, the user experience is much much better so um, this is it and um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you again in another codecast